Welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're going to be doing part three of my beliefs again. So, and I may even go over some parts that I already mentioned in other past videos. So, bear with me. Basically, the what I believe in part. <clears throat> sorry, guys. Uh, the belief in more than one God. Obviously. Uh, we have personal relationships with them. Freaking camera. Sorry. Okay, I be believe in reincarnation. What happens after death can vary for each person and tradition, so I'm not even going to bother to explain that. If you have your own beliefs on that, then mine isn't going to matter. Uh, I practice magic and spells. I don't do rituals. I believe in keeping things simple. Rituals to me are extremely complicating. So I go with spells only. And I believe that my gods are okay with that. Uh, I follow and at Harmonon, do as you will. That involves yourself as well as anyone else and anything that has a life, or a soul, or anything that can be hurt. Uh, I also believe in threefold law, basically where whatever you send out comes back three times, bad or good, depending, and karma. Uh, karma isn't punishment, it's more of balancing out everything. That's what I believe. I believe that those that have done wrong will be for lack of a better word, punished eventually, or balanced out as, as it were. And anyone that has done anything good will get it back just as good. To me, deity is within all of us. It's what we were styled after, so we are them, but they're different. If that makes any sense. They're in us, but they're not. Yeah, it's complicating. Uh, all life is sacred. That includes everything. Again, it all goes back to the whole and it harm none, do as you will thing. Uh, anything that can be hurt or has a mind can think for itself is sacred. You shouldn't hurt that. That also goes along with the same thing of bullying anybody. If you bully anybody, you are no better. And frankly, I don't see how you can do that to somebody. Do you have no morals? Anyway, basically, moving on, <laughs> I also account that for hurting somebody in any way, mentally or physically, it all adds up to abuse. Anything you do to somebody that is mentally or physically hurtful is abuse. There's no way around that. Uh, if you can't it kind of goes back to the same thing, you know, of if you can't honor yourself and all that, all that, then how can you honor somebody else? That also goes the same, kind of turns around the same way. If you can't honor somebody else, then you obviously can't do it to yourself. Uh, so, yeah, think about that. Uh, energy follows thought. That's basically for spells. Uh, if you're not in the right mindset, your spell can backfire. Because if you're thinking something else, something negative, or something to where you don't want your spell to go, it'll go that way because you're thinking about it. And you're putting that energy out. Uh, sorry, this is kind of a weird video, isn't it? I didn't actually mean to do this video. I was just going to leave the whole videos alone. Like, I wasn't going to do any more part three or anything. But... I like to talk about what I believe in, so it just kind of happened. <laughs> uh, 
All right, so I am selectively out of the broom closet. I haven't told everybody, but there are certain people that know, and they're okay with it. Granted, my whole family doesn't know, and that's okay. I'm not going to tell them. Uh, however, if somebody were to ask me about it, I would certainly have a conversation about it. About what I believe in, what I am, how I believe in things. But I'm not going to put myself out there, if that makes any sense. No sense in putting myself out there for somebody to make fun of or somebody to turn things into a negative aspect of something. Yes, I do spells. Yes, I do some rituals when I feel like it, which most of the time isn't really, I don't really do those. But I'm not a devil worshiper. I don't believe in the devil. You can't worship something you don't believe in. That's a very hot topic for me and my mother. I can't make anybody understand that I don't believe in the devil, therefore I can't worship him. To, to me, he's not real. So, if he's not real, I'm not going to worship him because, well, he's not real. I can't do that. Uh, it's also the same concept with God. They're the Christian form of God. I, He could be real, but, you know, I also believe that there should be a woman next to him to balance things out. So, that's another hot topic between me and my mother. My mother isn't happy that I'm Wiccan, that I'm pagan. I call myself both, so if anyone has a problem with that, have the decency to, uh, be polite about it if you comment. Uh, she can't understand it even though she was Wiccan herself at one point. So I think she has closed it out of her mind. The understanding part. I'm not entirely sure why. But It's not something that I like to talk about very often. I don't like to mention that, oh, my mother used to be Wiccan, uh, but now I can't talk to her because she won't even acknowledge it. What can you say to that? I mean, can't really get around that. Anyway, back on to what I, <laughs> after I went off on my whole spiel, uh, You know what, I'm just going to end this video here. I might do another video on something else, like bullying, or um, negativity, or the stealing traditions thing again. I know I did a video response last night, but the lighting was crappy, so I might redo that. Um, so yeah, blessed be, love and light, and have a nice day.